Hey guys, just a guy here with a new series. I just got City Skylines on a Black Friday sale for like 20 bucks for the banks game and like the first four DLCs, like the starter edition pack or whatever. Um, I've watched a couple of videos of this. I really like the idea. Um, the DLC pricing is a bit intimidating, over $100 for all of them, but it was on sale, so I'll give it a shot. Um, I played one game for like 15 or so hours. My city, even with unlimited money, was in debt all the time and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I just basically figured out the controls best I could. Uh, not very intuitive controls, I'll say. That it took me a very long time to get used to them. And the actual options in the control menu um, don't list all the controls. There's a couple things that aren't in there that you can't rebind or change. But let's pause it. Uh, the only mod I have running is one that makes text a little bigger, so this is easier to read. Uh, this is basically a modless run for the first time, and then we'll go from there. Um, I do realize that a lot of the quality of life changes are in mods and a lot of the assets. I currently have no assets other than um, these three, which I made myself, which are just roundabouts with walkaways on top of them and stuff because I was building them so often. But so we got our little village. Uh, we got a nice big river down the middle, which is nice. Um, we have two highway connections which is also nice I don't see trains immediately nearby uh, I'm not sure where they are but let's go first you have to build a road of any kind obviously um, let's see if we can do this without destroying our city and then after that we have access to other roads we have any? Yeah. So we're going to get rid of this. And if you pause it when you build and destroy things, it doesn't uh, cost you money. Come on. I want to connect these two. Oh well. Yeah, master here, guys. All right, and then go back to this one, I guess. One-way roads, that way. Seriously? That is too steep. What is this? This is one of the problems about having like anarchy and stuff. So we want to turn off. Snap to grid. All these. Turn them all off. There we go. Sometimes hard to really hard to draw. And then we want to go to altar with uh, it's the fourth one over here. Um, there's the keys. You combine these one to four for the toggles. Uh, and then we just go back to our four lane road. Go back to build. There we go. What I wanted. Pretty, isn't it? Beautiful, even. Um, let's see here. Go up there with the main road, so to speak. Do we have any intersections? Ah, that that would have been a better idea. Always go with roundabouts. Roundabouts are god, especially in vanilla with no. Traffic manager. There we go. Now I don't have access to very much, but I could build that. Very indecisive, as you can see, guys. Now, this is just an asset I built. It's basically that small roundabout with walkways and junk the downside is you can see that walkways are very very picky about flat land so what you gotta do is go all the way over here oh I don't have access to landscaping I can't flatten the land okay then so we'll just use this one all that one is is this one basically with a couple extra roads thrown in and the walkways over it so to make roundabouts better, 
what you want to do is take a two lane road for either direction really two lane road there we go and we want to go to the curved road so that's the second option first you pick where you want to go and then being picky I think it's these trees. Sometimes you get that annoying space is already occupied message quite often. Normally it would build over trees. I don't understand it. Let's try in two pieces. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work as one piece. There we go. So what will happen is if people want to come in and go that way, they can just cut across. They don't have to go around the roundabout. This could even be a one-way road. It wouldn't really change anything. Because um, nobody who wants to come this way will go through that way. They'll just go around the roundabout. And then you just want to do the same thing to the other side. If you can get the roads to work for you anyways. Not sure why I can't just do one straight across, but there we go. So now people can take shortcuts. Instead of going all the way around the roundabout to go there, they'll just cut through here. It can make uh, a little bit of a trouble sometimes. And I don't think we have to worry about uh, stoplights just yet. You need uh, six lane roads or four lane roads, I think, for that. So now we got our roundabout. We just need to rebuild this so what we're gonna do is get rid of this and we want to have a nice slope thing if we can actually wow I'm, I'm really bad at this guy sorry we'll make this easier on ourselves there we go that way we only have one entrance and it's across from that. Otherwise that whole thing's pointless. So we'll go down to here. And then up to here. There we go. We officially have access to the highway. That's one funky interstate. Now we need to get some water going. Water flows that way. Right. should be good enough for now. now we're gonna get our power going wind turbine just the easiest for right now not the best power though only five I think the highest you can get is eight but that's good power for our uh, little water thing without having to run power all the way over there let's zone some buildings now we don't generally want to build right on this thing if we can help it, so take this road out. And we're gonna be fairly basic for now. We have some nice riverside property. Not too close because I think that makes a lot of noise. Make this kind of funky too. And we're just going to fill in the area a little bit. Not quite touch there. Prevent traffic so much. And we'll cut these across here. Now you want to fill in this area as much as possible with little as waste. I'm wasting because I want to make this look a little interesting. Straight little grid runs would probably be the best idea. Okay. So we go back over here to our zoning. Now, you could just zone this all residential. Um, you got this thing that goes by selector, right? Something like this. You also have the second option over here. Uh, it's a small brush, so you just sort of paint it in uh, with a marquee thing. 
right? Then you have the third option over here, which is the big brush. Like, you just do that. I usually use a combination of this or the marquee. Um, so what we're going to do is zone basically all this as residential. Now, putting them next to this intersection is probably a bad idea. We're going to go back a little bit. It's a little bad on space, but it'll save you a lot of problems later on. Uh, these intersections are not so bad because they're not going to be much of a, uh, things. We're also going to put a little commercial in here because people like to be near shops. They don't want to have to walk super far to go to the store. So, get rid of all these. I'm going to take the brush, actually. And just sort of dot some shops in there. sort of around. There's really no demand for it just yet according to the thing, but there will be. So we'll just do it for now. Oops. There we go. We don't want them on there. Okay, that should be good for now. And the other good thing is, is oh, the power is right there. Yeah. So we're going to make these shops. The very important reason that they don't like noise pollution. They don't mind noise pollution anyway. And there we go. So we got people moving in. Oh, we do need water. So we need to take this over like this. And my water pipes are obviously precise and zero waste, obviously, as you can see. Um, we should have power currently. Yes, we do. Now, this noise pollution might be an issue. Go over here, we can see wind, traffic, happiness. I don't actually have access to noise pollution or anything like that yet. Okay, so it's not a problem until then. Uh, water, huh? Oh, no sewage, okay. Now we wanna put this downstream somewhere. It will back up slowly over time though. Oh, this is a pretty big river, so it might not be such an issue. So we're going to take this way over here, longest pipe ever, and then we're probably going to put another power thing down here. To uh, save us some effort of running a power cable all the way over there. Sort of wasteful for now, um, but eventually our city will grow over here anyway. There we go. It's operating, our city is officially effective. Now we're just going to go over here and start some industry. Um, we don't really have any specialized industry just yet. And I don't have the mod pack for the industry, I don't think, so... Just like forestry and stuff. Oops. Straight roads seem to be best at building up slopes. Okay. No, we don't want to connect that. Very, very odd uh, building there. But we'll just go with that. Let's see how bad this is going to screw me over later on. So, industry, we're going to say here, here. And here, I guess. I forgot. I don't have the chirper turned off. I have the noise down. But I think it takes a mod to actually get rid of it. it doesn't provide very useful things most of the time. So we got all that. Uh, we don't want to zone too much at once. 
Otherwise, we won't have enough people to fill the jobs. It might tell you need industry, but if you don't have the people to fill it out, you're not in good shape. So, we can actually speed this up. Um, it's like the one, two, three keys by default, I think. And it makes it faster. There's also this little thing over here. Right there. So, let's see here. We need power lines. Because our city's not spread over there just yet. You can usually eventually delete these. Which is good, because they cost upkeep and they get in the way of building. So those will go all happy. Um, do we have access to much of anything else? No. Water. Okay, yeah. Always need water when you expand. There we go. Nice, perfect water pipe management. Okay, so we got our little city off. So far, guys, I hope this is going okay. I mean, I don't know how to make these exciting. I just really like this game, and I thought it'd be interesting. Um, I don't really have super experience in how to do this perfectly, but... Without any mods, like Traffic Manager or anything, though, it's going to get interesting once you get to about 10,000 population. So as you can see, people moving around, traffic's okay for now, I mean, for how small we are. We're losing tons upon tons of money, though. So we're going to have to go to our budget. So what's costing this thing the most money? Water, 600. We don't need that much. Electricity. If we go back to our needs, water is way off the charts. Give it a couple seconds to recalculate, and it's still off the charts. So we're going to go back to our budget, knock this way down. Now this is one of those things you're going to have to adjust almost constantly. There's actually a mod that does it for you. As your needs grow, it goes back up. It's actually rather annoying. You can't see the two on the same screen. Um, budget. Needs. Okay, we're not going to be able to really put that... No, we're not dumb enough power now. Wait, why does it say no power? Oh, because this thing registers as having power, even though my grid over here does not. There we go. Did not want to have to do that, but whatever. Okay, we're making $62. Isn't that the greatest balance budget ever? Now for tax, oh, we can't actually adjust our taxes yet. Let's keep an eye on these. Water is still off the charts for now. But as you can see, this little roundabout's doing a pretty good job. Uh, people go in either direction without huge intersection. It's not the biggest roundabout. It doesn't have any highways. I don't have access to building highways yet. It doesn't allow pedestrians really to walk across it, though. That's the big problem with not having the walkways. But I don't have access to landscaping yet. Which might have been why I couldn't build that other one, even though they said the asset said I could. But yeah, so it's just a waiting game. They technically say they need more industry, but I don't think they can handle it. Um, where is my unemployment thing? Do I have access to that? Happiness? I don't know where you find unemployment. I know people talk about it. Electricity is getting close, though. Put another one of these down. We could turn the budget up, but for now it's going to be easier just to build it. Okay, we got our hamlet. So we got the option to do taxes, garbage, healthcare, and all that other fun stuff. Unfortunately, we are stuck with the landfill for a very, very long time. So, let's see. Garbage. 
You need a landfill. It's going to be somewhere nobody likes, but has access to a lot of area. We're going to put it... We don't really want it in the industry area, so to speak. We don't want it near the residential either. So we're going to put a little road in here. And we can continue this by adding another one-way road there, which makes the intersection a little bit messy on this small roundabout, but will allow people to go from here to here directly without having to go all the way around the roundabout. It might not be worth it in the end on such a small roundabout, but on bigger ones, it's good to pipe it for every spoke. So garbage. Doesn't matter if we destroy a power line because that'll transfer the power. Um, and then we need medical clinic. People like these. So we'll put one. Uh, the, the roads that light up show you the area it'll cover generally. This covers this whole area and then most of that area. So that's good. And that's all we really got. Oh, elementary school. 149 people were eligible. Now this, you generally need more coverage. The way I built my roads is against me here. I'll well, just put it down here. People can walk if they want to. It doesn't make these buildings as happy, but people can still get to school from there. And I think that's all I really have access to. Uh, let's check our zones. No, they're not all built yet. So even though there was a little bit of sliver there, they don't really want it. And we still haven't filled in all our residential, and we're making decent money. Okay, we have taxes now. So we can bump this up. Um, I think about 12 to 13 percent is the highest people accept and still move into your place. Uh, go to our zones. Yeah, we still have some of everything around. Let's go to commercial. A little commercial strip there. Give the people near there something to do. And did anything else? No, we don't really want any over there. Well, let's speed this up. We are gaining lots of money and we're still gaining some people. Now, if you wanted to build up faster, you could lower your taxes, obviously. But then you run into the problem of not having money. It's better to have money and not people. Especially early on. Now... Our capacity of our school is almost half full. Um, elementary schools. Um, are really small. Without mods or a uh, assets, you quickly, quickly uh, run into problems. So we don't have enough power, huh? Let's go back to our budget and turn that back up. I'm trying to avoid building a coal plant or whatever I have access to right now because that costs a lot of money. And it causes a lot of pollution. More trucks to fuel it. So, get another one of these going. At least we have access to some better. I think the hydro ones are next. So we got a little bit of demand in a couple things. But as you can see, we still haven't filled in all the areas that we already zoned. So it's not necessarily important to build more just yet. We're getting pretty busy. This roundabout's doing its job, and my crazy streets are doing their job. 
Uh, low residential things, you can be a little more crazy. If you did this with a high, you'd probably run into a lot of traffic problems. Don't have access to any kind of public transport yet, though. Water is super good. Power is constantly an issue. The only downside of these uh, windmills is they're not that great, especially since I don't have high elevations. I might have to just bite the bullet. Oh, I don't have coal yet. I'm not sure why there's a no sign. Maybe this particular map disabled it, I don't know. Or maybe my population dropped below it? But yeah guys, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm pretty sure this has gotten kind of long and we got to the tiny town or whatever and we got a basic start. Uh, let's see how I can keep this going. Oh, Worthy Village. Okay, that's a good stop. We got specialization in the forestry, which is a really nice industry. It gives you good money um, without pollution. Um, let's take a lot of electricity, I guess. And that one takes a lot of water, agriculture. Uh, before we get anywhere near that, though, I think it's down here. Natural resources. So we have a farming zone on the river, which is very odd. Lots of forestry. We'll see what we can do next episode, guys. But yeah, this is uh, Just a Guy signing off. Catch you guys later. Bye.